Evening all, no respawns here, and back at you again with another Conan Exiles video. Now this is a building guide on a modular, emphasis on modular, so it's not finished, the next video will finish the towers, but it's a modular kind of early level fort, though what you can do is I'm using sandstone here, you can just replace it with, you know, reinforced stone or stone brick or whatever, whatever turns you on really. Um, just also, do you like this little mistake here? I wasn't paying attention and used the wrong... I didn't use the foundations, I used the uh, ceiling pieces instead. But basically, so this was quite a lot of experimentation. I'm still getting used to the tool set. Um, also, I made a fuck up there. It's 3x3 three three with a triangular piece, in case you're curious. So three normal foundations, bump, bump, and then one triangular piece. And for those of you who aren't used to my building videos, happen to stumble across me, I do speed these up a little bit. And I'm also something of a crafting expert, so I'm going to give my expert opinion on how I feel about the current building mechanic, because this is my first actual building video, and this is the first kind of major project that I've kind of tried to make something interesting out of. So, firstly, I'm also I leave in all of my, because I'm using the admin consoles, this is a, a hosted game, I'm going to leave, I decided to leave all this in, one, so you guys know exactly what pieces I'm using, what they're named as, um, but also it just kind of shows you exactly how I'm doing everything. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I'm filling the inside completely with these triangular pieces. Now they are very confusing because they're not actual, uh, how can I put this, corner pieces. You, you can't, also look at that one there, I was one short, fucking stupid motherfucker. It's, uh, anyway, um, so they're not actually the... They're just a weird shape, right? And it, it causes a lot of problems. Also, now those of you who come from the Fallout side are familiar with how ridiculously complex and annoying the snapping function is. So what I mean by that is where the where the way structures kind of connect to each other and how the game interprets where you want the placement. Now obviously because this game is an early access, it's even worse than Fallout's. It is excitable, to say the least. Um, you're especially going to see it when I get inside with trying to play stairs and walls. Um, now, some of you might find this really frustrating. Just remember, it is an early access. And one thing that Funcom have kind of demonstrated is they are quite quick on the draw when it comes to fixing issues. And it's this kind of stuff that us kind of going, hey, this is really, really annoying. Can you sort it out? They can look at it and go, okay, how can we smooth this off? From what I can gather, it seems to be, you'll see in a minute, so yeah, some of these I can't place down, like right there. It won't let me, and I end up having to actually kind of place stuff down near them, and then it allows me to place something there. It's, so what I mean to say is, I can't place, say, one of those triangular wall pieces on that pillar for whatever reason. It'll say, cannot place. So what I need to do is just place one near it, and then for some reason it suddenly goes, oh yeah, I can place something there. Now, what I think it is, is because this game uses a kind of foundation support function. So, for example, you know, if I were to take all the supporting walls out of a structure, the roof would tumble down. So, it's there. See, bump, I can take that one off. Won't place there, place one there. For whatever reason, it's weird. But I think because it's a little bit buggy right now, sometimes there are instances like where I've been placing some of these triangular pieces where it just won't let me place them down because it thinks they're not supported even though they are. That's a little bit annoying. Um, especially how difficult it is to actually kind of gather resources in this. So this is going to be quite a time-consuming build. Um, however, if you're doing it with a couple of mates, it should be quite fine. It, it's time. It, it probably wouldn't be as time-consuming as I would think, but it's, it's going to take a while. You can always just kind of reduce the shape or maybe not have my inside stairs, just have it a little bit smaller. Also, cute, just to let you know, I have absolutely no idea how many pieces I used in this. People have asked me when I used to do my Fallout, when I do my Fallout videos, it's a case of, oh, how much wood did you use? Pfft, no idea. I don't know. You can figure it out. So what I've gone and done here is made a... One, two, three, four, hexagon? Or is it an octagon? One, two, three, four. I think that's a hexagon. Yeah, it is. Yeah, a hexagon. Um, yeah, because it's three, um, six side. Um, I made a hexagon. Um, this is where the stairs lean down are now. Stairs are... Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, you're going to really see it in a second when I use my stair pieces, is they're very excitable. Oh, here also you're going to see I'm having a trouble with the supports and actually getting... It's not letting me place down some of the pieces, so here we go, popping the staircases down there. 
Now, this is probably... The, the floor one here was probably the easiest one I had. I'm trying to be... You can see it's being a bit... Exam it won't let me place there. Eventually, I just... If I remember correctly, I just kind of go, fuck it, and just put it there. Um, and instead move the entrance rather than trying to do this a lot of it has to do with build order um those of you once we get more used to the tool set look at this look at this oh because it's trying to interpret where i want to go now you can cycle through um let's go see it's complete. there we go once i've placed on all the available options it allows me to place it down now i can cycle through this this seems more annoying than it actually is um it's these triangular pieces which kind of make it harder than it actually is um you're gonna see in a minute as well when i try and do the upstairs and the next level staircases they are quite complex but if you don't want as much headaches as i'm having just steer clear of the triangular pieces and you should be fine um also oh quick note if you're wondering you know it says outer face um you might and obviously it's not it's kind of just transparent. Um, the way to tell if it's facing inwards or outwards is if the lettering is backwards. So the lettering is backwards, you've got it facing outwards, which is where you want. If it's facing, as you can see, if I can read it, basically, um, and it's the the writing is actually legible, um, that means it's going to be the wrong way around if you're building it from the inside. So yeah, it's, it is... I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying the challenge, but at the same time... I'm looking forward to the devs actually kind of making the system a little easier. I don't know how they would fix it beyond just kind of making the system a little bit more intuitive. You can see here one of the reasons for the windows there as well is because it's probably you know, it's probably a little harder for you to notice sometimes where the edges are. So I've just kind of put the triangular thatch pieces, by the way. Oh, you see these roof pieces here? Um, I've learned that if I just aim up higher than what I'm placing them, see I'm looking up a little bit, it allows me to place them kind of exactly where I want. Again, it's just early access. I'm quite pleased with the building function within this game. Obviously, some people will probably get more frustrated than me a lot quicker. <laughs> it doesn't help as well that I'm not used to the tool set, so I'm kind of like experimenting. Like this video, obviously some of you might be watching this, you know, a day or two after it's I've actually uploaded it, but this is actually going to be uploaded quite late. So as you can see, now this is where... I, that was the easiest part, just for the record. That was the easiest part. So you've now got the uh, the tricky element. Now I'm a little bit... The problem is, what I would wanted to do initially was... You see I've got these just kind of... I'm making this little line around here. I should probably just remove this actually because I do take it off and have to redo it again. But I figured I'd show you what I'm doing. Is... Because of the way the stairs connect, when I, and I probably hopefully demonstrate a little bit, is when I'm trying to build the staircases coming from the top level to the bottom level, it just goes absolutely crazy. And will sometimes, especially using these triangular pieces, I don't tend to have the same issue with the square pieces. I think because there are just so many bits next to each other, it gets quite confusing. So I'm um, also a lot of this, by the way, is me just kind of like experimenting as I go. As you can see, it's, it's got quite a lot of potential, um, and I'm quite having fun seeing what I can make. I do have a little bit of a freaking nightmare. I think one of the things I really think they need to add, and I think I might even either just address it a lot in this video, but I might also kind of message the devs myself, maybe pop it on Reddit, in fact, is I think we really do need some kind of grace period... Um, or the ability. I know it's a little bit immersion breaking, but I really think we should be able to move building parts in some way. Or give us a tool to move building parts. after Maybe after an hour or something, then they can't be moved around. But I feel there should be a grace period when you place a wall piece or any structure down. You should have maybe an hour of being able to pick it up. The reason being, as you'll see, I make so many mistakes. Um, and also just the kind of overly excitable snapping means that I'll have to sometimes place several things down before I can actually then... And you see it's just getting really confused on the inside. It's not impossible, but it's, it's frustrating. I have to kind of get things at the right angle. I am, to be fair, trying to make something quite complex. Um, ostensibly quite complex. So yeah, I think definitely a grace period with just like allowing me... For example, look at this. Look at this. 
I have to place like often sometimes, especially when I do the walls in a second, I have to place several of them down before one of them even lands where it's meant to. Occasionally I might accidentally double click and then just quickly, I do that quite a lot actually because my mouse is shit. <laughs> um, I've got one of those Nvidia mouses that's getting that firmware bug where it does the double clicking except now it's just, now it's just I can't fix it so I'm just going to have to get a new mouse. It's just old, the old death adder, the old world one from like 2013 so it's four years old. Um, anywho, but yeah, so definitely giving us that kind of Fallout 4 ability of moving structures would just be absolutely grand. Now, as you can see here, the, a reminder again, this is a part of a bigger structure. So I did initially, and I decided to take it off because it looked really shit. I did like a, a kind of a temporary tower on the side, kind of show you what I was going to add it on the tour and show you what I meant. I immediately deleted it. Um, because the actual towers themselves will be their own dedicated video because I want them to look quite complex and interested and this quite nice looking structure with an incredibly blocky tower just looked absolute bollocks so as you can see here having a bit of a having a bit of a, a fun time so again I, t I took those bits off there so I decided to remove showing that off now this is a little bit easier on this structure see there we go that's what I wanted to do <laughs> um, you have no idea do what I did right there. Um, try and get the stairs in. Whenever you're building up, try and get the stairs in before you start putting ceilings. Even if... Just because when I put these kind of triangular ceiling floor pieces in, you can probably imagine what happened. When I was trying to put those stairs in, it was connecting everywhere but where I was trying to place them. And it was... I ended up having to just trash the whole thing. Um, so much time. Um, this is probably a, maybe a little bit more complex than I was intending for my first build. So don't worry, the next, the towers, I will make them a little bit more um, accessible. And again, I, I appreciate how maybe tricky or overwhelming this might come um, seem, especially if you're not necessarily used to the tool set. See, I'm, I'm still getting used to it myself. You can see those little star pieces? Uh, this is a demonstration. Uh, this is kind of an example of how a little bit weird the support. See, I have to put those pillars in just to be able to put these floors in. Also, have to... You can actually rotate them with the mouse wheel, um, but it's quite temperamental. Bum, bum. Yes. And there we go. So, we've got that done. This is pretty much it now. Um, I do add some walls on the inside. The idea being is where you've got the... You see you've got them the three square piece so it's three corner piece three on each edge in between so where the door is um but on the opposite each side is going to be a tower um and a bedroom so the idea being that it's kind of for you and like a kind of smallish guild to all just kind of hunker down i don't know how defensible it is this was more about aesthetics right so here what i'm doing is i'm just gonna add because you can see i've added that I decided to cut it out because it was just a bit tedious um, and it was just me doing this but on the upper level and it took ages um, but you see this part here it's it's getting a little bit excitable now the reason why I decided to add this in was because I wanted I walled off the top decided it looked better and then wanted to wall off the bottom here like this but again you can see I think I don't know how it would work in terms of implementing in the game but what I think we do, rather than the game trying to interpret, if I cycle the mouse wheel, it should, again, maybe instigate a feature where it will always prioritize cycling than rather trying to be kind of smart placement. Because you can see right here, I'm having a complete and utter nightmare. I have to basically just slam this down loads just to get the doorway in because it basically because there are so many potential placements um it wants to go to everywhere other than where i want eventually i think i have to take that staircase off and oh there it is see there we go and also some of these doorways i think are walls might be the wrong way around i decided to do this because of the pillars just to look a little bit um spindly i guess and because obviously with the kind of supports function in this um i just had this kind of nightmare of me or one of my friends just um, doing that but accidentally dismantling the entire thing <laughs> um, but you can see right here just the overly excitable snapping I think this I don't know how much of a uh, kind of essential kind of fix the devs will have in terms of kind of focusing on this part in terms of making it make it a little bit more just user-friendly I'm gonna try and 
hopefully um, use my potentially reasonable influence um, to actually get the devs to actually kind of address it or at least just kind of raise it as a concern. Um, I'll probably have to record a video um, and just show it. So there we go. Anyway, it looks pretty good. Just going to add a door. All exciting stuffs. As I said, this is a modular, so there's not maybe as much um, kind of living space yet, but there will be. So here's the tour, kind of at normal speed with my characters very clunky. So see where you've got those three foundation pieces there? Coming off the center one will be where the living quarters are and the towers. What I think I'm going to probably do, because I've got one, two, three, so what I'll probably do is have, I'll do them in the next video, maybe two or three... Two, yeah, two big towers and then three kind of smaller kind of stumpier buildings and then it'll be quite a nice little complete fort But that'll be in the next video. Anyway, I hope you guys found this interesting I'm liking I, I'm really liking the potential I think obviously again just because this game is early access the building function isn't as crisp as Fallout. I'm saying Fallout's crisp. I also added some more supports over here by the way just because it looked cool but yeah, it's not as crisp as Fallout's, um, but it's getting that. It's getting that, and I quite like what you can build. I just think they need to just kind of make the whole, pro whole process a lot more user-friendly. Anyway, um, as always, follow me on Twitter at no response. I'll have another Fallout video up tomorrow, and then I'll do the Code and Exiles, uh, the towers and the houses for this build in the video after that. Anyway, you guys enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll talk to you lovely people soon. You take care.